the cool thing about navigating the internet, regardless of whether you're using a Windows PC with JAWS or NVDA or a Mac PC with VoiceOver or you know, an iPad or a Chromebook with Chromevox, all these things have some features in common for web navigation. So once you learn them on one system with one screen reader, you can generalize a lot of those concepts between screen readers. Even though some minute things may be a little different, for example, caps lock and right arrow to navigate forward and caps lock and left arrow to navigate backwards using voiceover on the Mac, other main things are very similar. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on voiceover and then I'm going to go to the address bar and we're going to do a Google search and just see how Google searches work. So cap command F5 for voiceover. Voiceover on Safari. Voiceover is on. I am in a Google Doc right now, so I'm going to command L to go to the address bar. Open location. So you are currently on a text field inside of a toolbar. To enter text in this field, type to show alternate items. Press control. All right, said so the type. So I really like sea turtles. Let's just do a sea turtle search. M C C C C C C home Oop. home T selection replace. So I accidentally my fingers touched the trackpad, which is a big Amanda problem. So let's try that again. S E A C T U R T L E turtle H A B I T A T habitat. So I can sea turtle habitat. Boom. Completion select. Once you pause for a few seconds in the address bar, voiceover will read the entire thing for you. And I know that I typed what I wanted to type, so I'll hit enter to complete my search. Sea turtle habitat. Sea turtle habitat. I'm going to silence voiceover now. So voiceover is going to work the same way here on the Mac that JAWS would work on a... Um, and, and even Chrome on a Windows PC and that Chrome box is going to work on a Chromebook. In order to get to your search results, you need to navigate first by heading level three to get to the first result. Otherwise, if you're navigating even by links or by buttons, you have to go through that entire top section where it has the Google button, the search field, and those search options, your account, your Google apps, um, your settings, and then the next toolbar below that that has your search by all, search for images, for news, for videos, for shopping, for more. If you do links, it will take you through all of the Google links first and then to the results for your search. So the kind of pro tip is to navigate by heading to get to the first result and then you can navigate by link to go through the search results. So let's go ahead, I'm going to tab in. Share Oops. button. New tab show slash leaving too close see to close leaving tab bar tab bar two tabs once skip to main content once you're here you can hit skip to main content heading level three five items and it will main take, it will take you to that level three heading but if that skip to main content button doesn't come up then you can just press the three um, or caps lock H to navigate by heading to get to where you are so now that I'm here we can navigate by link. Press slash to jump to the search box. Oops. Caps lock right link, there. heading level three. All about about this result. Link, link, bullet. Feedback, heading level two, two, nine. What do sea turtles need in their hat? Where do most sea turtles live? Where do they live, sea turtles? What kind of water do sea turtles live in? Feedback, heading level two. Web results, link, heading level three. Fact about this result, menu habitat and diet. Link, Heading level three. So that's what it's looked like if you're hitting the caps lock gray right arrow to navigate through things. We can also open the voiceover router. Links menu. And I'm going to go through so you can hear all the links that you have to go through until you get to the search result links because it drives me crazy. Link. Skip to main content. Link. Accessibility. Link. Accessibility. Link. Image. Link. Account. Link. Search. Link. Maps. Link. YouTube, link, play, link, news, link, Gmail, link, meet, visited, link, chat, link, contacts, link, drive, link, calendar, link, translate, link, photos, link, duo, link, Chrome, 
Link. Shopping. Link. Finance. Link. Docs. Link. Sheets. Link. Slides. Link. Books. Link. Blogger. Link. Hangouts. Link. Keep. Link. Jamboard. Link. Classroom. Link. Earth. Link. Collections. Link. Arts and Culture. Link. Google Ads. Link. Podcasts. Link. Stadia. Link. Google One. Link. Tra link. Form. Link. Link. Image. Link. News. Link. B link. Shopping. Link. Image. Link. Image. Link. Image. Link. Image. Link. Image. <laughs> So, image result for C. I'm not going to keep torturing you with that. There are so many links on here. It takes forever to get to the ones that are your search results. Let's just go to the next. Um, Headings option. menu. Headings is where we're really going to look because each link for a search result is listed as a heading. So if we navigate by level three headings. Level three headings menu. I had level, I had a three and then it changed my headings to level three headings. And now I can just arrow down and hear all the search results. Heading level three, five items. Adults of most species. Heading level three. All about sea turtles. Heading level three. Facts about sea turtles. Heading level three. Sea turtle vertical line species. Heading level three. Information about sea turtles, their habitats and threats too. Heading level three. Sea turtle habitat, sea turtle facts and information. So that's kind of like my pro tip for if you just, if you just want to get into your website, get into the main content, caps lock you to open your router, get right left or right arrow to get to headings and then press a three and then arrow down until you find a search result you want to check out. So I heard one that said all about sea turtles habitat and distribution. I'm going to arrow up until I get to that one and then I'm going to hit enter to focus on it. Heading level three. Information about heading level three. Sea turtle vertical lines. Heading level three. Facts about sea turtles. Heading level three. All about sea turtles. Heading level three. Heading level three. Heading level three. All about sea turtles, habitat and distribution, vertical line, sea world. Okay, that's what I want to focus on. My thumb accidentally hit the trackpad and changed where my arrows were, so I had to arrow back to the correct one. I'm going to hit enter to change my focus. Link, heading level three. All about sea turtles, habitat and distribution, vertical line, sea world. So HTTPS colon slash slash. It's going to read the actual web address after it reads the heading. This is the one I want to check out. So I'm going to hit enter to activate the link. Link. All about sea turtles, habitat and distribution, vertical lines, sea world parks and entertainment. Silence voice over here. I've never been to this website. I have no idea if it's accessible, but we can use the voice over router to check it out and see what's going on. Headings menu. So we're on headings. I'll just arrow through and see what we got. Heading level two. Animals. Heading level one, habitat and distribution. Heading level three, distribution. Heading level three, habitat. Heading level three, migration. Heading level three, population. Heading level three, table. Sea turtle distribution and habitat. So headings usually tell us what text is on the page, which I really like. I don't really need to go to a new page because my search results took me to this page that has information on the habitat. And I didn't just choose the first heading that said habitat. I went through all my headings to find out for sure if that first one I heard was the correct one, and it's not. The one that I want is a level three heading, so that's exciting. I'm going to arrow up until I get to habitat, and then I'll hit enter to focus. Heading level three. Heading level three. Migration. Heading level three. Habitat. Heading level three. Habitat. You are currently on a heading level three. Okay, so from here, I can caps lock right arrow to move through the text. Adults of most species are found in shallow, coastal waters, bays, lagoons, and estuaries. Some also venture into the open sea. Juveniles of some species may be found in bays and estuaries, as well as at sea. See table below for descriptions of each species habitat. Sea turtle swimming in a coral reef. Image. Oh, you are currently on an image. It read the description. That's awesome. Sea turtles swimming in the sea. So I'm going to keep going to the caps lock. Right arrow to move forward in the page. Heading level three. Migration. Well, we don't need to hear about migration. We were only looking for information on the habitat. So that is pretty awesome. So now let's go ahead and try this out one more time. We're going to go command L. Open location. HT. Content select. 
The other thing I really like, oh, I love animals in general. Let's look for an update on cicada brood nine in Virginia. So C A D A cicada. And by brood nine, I mean brood X. B R O O D brood. X X V I R G I N I A Cicada Brood X for Cicada Brood X Virginia Google search web content You are currently on a heading level 1 inside of web content So we're going to hit tab Leaving Cicada new tab show slash leaving to close Cicada Brood close leaving tab bar tab bar two tabs Entering Cicada Brood X Virginia Google search web content link skip to main content Link, heading level three. When do cicadas come out in 2021? What is Brood X? HTTPS. That's main. not what I'm looking for. So I heard a rumor that Brood X could be a cause possibly of some of the bird um, deaths in the eastern United States. So I need to go to a news article. At this point, I'm going to caps lock F for fine. Enter search text. N-E-W-S. How long will Brood X cicadas last? 17 years cicada FAQ HTTPS colon slash videos show cicadas taking over. So the caps lock F didn't work. So I'm hitting caps lock G to find next. And it took me to a new one. The 17 years cicadas are coming for Northern Virginia. So now Link, I'm heading left. I'm silencing. I'm super bummed because I'm really looking for a form button about news because these are all news that it's all old news. So let's go ahead and open our voiceover router, caps lock. Headings button. menu. Right arrow until I get to button the form, form controls. Form controls menu. Cicada Brood X Virginia, clear. Button, Google search, Google apps, Co Google account, tools. Co are cicadas coming to Virginia? Will Brood X be in Virginia? Where will Brood X cicadas be? Will there be a cicada in Virginia? Feedback, share, button. I'm not looking, I'm not finding what I'm looking for. Let's press N for news. Cicada Brood X, Virginia. No items in. Form controls, Cicada Brood X, Cicada Brood X, Virginia. So that Search, combo. Actually, oh, that didn't help. I know it's also a link, so let's try links. No items in. Landmarks menu. Window spots menu. Links menu. Link, news. Ah, there's news. Let's hit enter. Link, news. You are currently on a link inside of web content. To click this link. Well, that one's not working. So let's try it again. Caps lock Links here. menu. Link news. Let's try the second news. Link news. Link news. Ah, there we you go. You are currently on a link. And actually, I started thinking about it, and maybe I don't want news. Maybe I want to go to my tools and search for posts that have been made in a certain time frame. So now I'm going to caps lock right arrow until I hear tools. Link, link, more. Tools collapsed. Button. You are currently on a button. Anytime. Menu. So let's act, uh, let's interact with this button with a control option shift down arrow. Interact with the title of button. Link anytime. Past hour. Past 24 hours. Past week. Let's do you it. are current. We're going to do past week since the brood's been gone for a while. Their eggs are about to hatch. Cicada brood heading level one. Accessibility links. Cicada brood X. So now we can go back to our headings. Press slash Oops. to jump to the search box. Quick nav on. Brood X cicadas are gone. So, Link heading left. Oh, what I did is I pressed my left and my right arrow at the same time to turn on quick nav. And then I was able to press a three because I know that the results are going to be a level three heading. So I can just hit three to navigate through them. The cicadas are coming. Cicadas emerge in VA. DC, the cicadas are coming. Brood X cicadas are gone. But their eggs will hatch soon. This sounds, HTTPS go this sounds link like heading exactly what I'm looking for. So I hit shift three to go back to it since the later results didn't make sense to me. Like cicadas are coming. No, they've already come. So let's just go to this one. I'm gonna hit enter to activate the link. Link cert brood X cicadas are gone. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm gonna hit command L to go to the address bar. Open location HTTPS colon slash slash content privacy report show reader button what you are I currently did, on what i did was i went to the address bar and then i hit caps lock left to go to a previous section which is like the privacy section and then i hit control right arrow to hit show reader i'm gonna hit enter on show reader or hit space six items privacy report pop over Oops. shield oh, image npr.org show reader button you are currently on a button inside of a toolbar.
to click this button, press con six site privacy That's report. So it says I'm focused on the show reader, but it keeps opening the privacy. Show so. reader button. You are currently on a button inside of a toolbar. You are currently on root X cicadas and gone, but they're boom. There we go. So I had to hit control option space, which I heard voiceover say, and now I'm in my document as a reader mode. So I took out all the ads and extraneous information. I can focus on just the content. I'm going to hit caps lock right arrow to just read the article. Brood X cicadas are gone, but their eggs will hatch soon and rain nymphs from trees. NPR, web content. Brood X, Brood X cicadas are gone, but their eggs quick nav off. Brood X, cic Brood X cicadas are gone, but their Brood. You are current link. Jacob Fenston, bullet July 6th, 2021. So what I did there was I was hitting caps lock right arrow and it wasn't working and that's because I forgot to turn quick nav off. That dong button reminded me that I needed to do that so I hit left and right arrow to turn that off and now I'm able to hit caps lock right arrow to navigate the page. Image caption, group. You are currently in a group. A female cicada laying eggs on a small tree branch. End of, image cap, image credit, group. You are currently in a group, John Lil slash courtesy of George Washington University. End of, if gone are the noisy choruses, but gut strewn sidewalks, and you are ice cream shop cicada specials. Link, you root X cicadas. Link, so I'm trying to get to read, it's been weird. But, period, link, ice cream shop cicada specials. You are currently on a link, period, but, link, are still with us. Billions of it's reading very weird in this reader mode. Usually it reads really nicely. Link, but period. Link, ice cream shop. Brood X cicada ice cream shop Let's cicada try. specials. But link, Brood X Addis are still with us. Billions of but Brood X cicadas are still with us. Billions of tiny eggs lying ready to hatch in the tree tops above. You can easily see the evidence all over the DC area. Dead leaves at the ends of tree branches where the female insects have cut incisions to lay eggs. Driving around, unselected, Brood X cicadas are gone, but their eggs will hatch soon and rain nymphs from trees Jacob fenced in July 6, 2021. A female cicada laying eggs on a small tree branch. John Lil slash courtesy of George Washington University gone are the noisy choruses, the gut strewn sidewalks, and ice cream shop cicada specials. But Brood X cicadas are still with us, billions of tiny eggs lying ready to hatch in the tree tops above. You can easily see the evidence all over the DC area selected. So I hit control to stop reading it because I think the point was made. When I was struggling to have a voiceover read the, the whole text, it wasn't working the way that I anticipated. I went ahead and hit command A to highlight all the text and then it started reading everything to me so that I could listen to the article. So I wanted to show you reader view and that it can sometimes make reading something, especially a news article, a little easier because it takes away all that extraneous information. We don't have to navigate through ads and other images that are from the website. We get to just read the article. So this was just a, a little show of what you can do with the voiceover router, how you can use quick keys with your left and right button at the same time and then navigate by B for button, G for graphic, three for level three heading, L for link. Um, if you are using your router, your voiceover router, you can go through headings, links, um, form controls, all that sort of stuff to make navigation pretty easy. And these are things that your students will need to practice. And in order for them to practice, you must first practice and really understand how they can navigate the web pages that they're using during lessons. So that would be really useful for you to do in advance of starting to teach web-based navigation to your students. Let's turn off voiceover. Voiceover off. Get out of reader mode and end our video.